welcome to another episode of uh, DX Talks, and we are glad today having it from Dubai, from St. Regis. Um, today we have a special guest with us, and uh, Raluca is really an emerging star as a leading uh, voice on the customer experience in the region. Uh, throughout her multi-faced uh, experiences from customers, uh, centricity, uh, across multiple industries, was it from space, telecommunication, government affairs, and so on. Uh, she has worked with uh, Fortune 500 companies and startups. She has gained a lot of value on corporate experience, where she will always use that customer experience as a differentiation strategy. And that is the topic of today, which is user-centric customer experience. So welcome, uh, Raluca, to this episode. I'm really happy for you to be here and hopefully will benefit more our uh, audience so we can have some more tips and strategies. Well, Rudy, thank you so much for inviting me. It's really a pleasure to have you here in Dubai, in, in my city, <laughs> in this iconic uh, location um, in the Palm. Yeah. Uh, thank you for inviting me once again. Why should we look at uh, customer experience as a differentiation strategy? Well, I will start with mentioning one important thing is the fact that life is not static and uh, we all know that we live in a hyper-connected, hyper-competitive environment where no organization can afford to stand still. Technology, it's obvious, has shifted the power from businesses to customers. It's, it's really very obvious and uh, uh, the pandemic has also contributed to changes in the customer behavior um, and raised their expectations to the highest level. Um, more than that, open access to information has empowered customers so much that they started demanding even more. So what's happening, there is a greater competition now and more and more companies are trying to compete for the same business. So what's the differentiation, differentiating strategy over here? It's customer experience. Yeah, uh, I think uh, today when we talk about customer experience, also we talk about the data aspect of things. Uh, yes, this is where we can possibly also be focused many, on many different fronts. One of them is, as you said, customers and data. So what is the solution that has to differentiate as a business in such a noisy environment? Well, Rudy, customer centricity these days is at the heart of every company. Um, and as you probably see, um, every company nowadays lives by the mantra, let's put the customer at the heart of everything. But my question is, how many companies really understand what customer experience really is? How many companies really know how to practice it? So. In all my experience, in, in my startups, in my corporate environment, I always put customer experience as the differentiating factor, differentiating strategies in everything I've done. I use, use it for the uh, business development, for the marketing, for the sales, and so on. Are you saying that having uh, a better product uh, at a competitive price doesn't help? Having a better price and a better product, of course, helps. But research shows that customers don't base their loyalty anymore based on product and price. They choose a company and they choose to stay with the company only based on the experience they receive. So customer experience overtook the price and product. It's it's showing everywhere in all the researches. So, so companies and businesses, in order to survive, and to grow, they need to look at this differentiating factor, this differentiating strategy. So I think it's one of those strategies today that you really have to focus on your customer as customer centricity and the experience. Uh, that is one of those strategies that's going to make it. Let's jump to another question and understand what is really customer experience. Well, in order to, to explain what customer experience really is, I would like to ask you to remember last time you really had a great customer experience. 
for example, maybe in this uh, hotel. Yeah, <laughs> they are taking care of me a lot. They are today, taking so. care of you. You feel yeah. good. You're gonna speak with your friends about it. That's... Probably gonna write a review as well, right? Yeah, that's where I have to say thank my sponsor here, uh, Acronis, <laughs> for you know having this as a reality. So uh, thank you. <laughs> so now let's think about last time you really had a bad experience. Exactly. You don't want to remember about it, and probably you're you are also gonna reach out to your friends and mention don't use this product, don't use this service, because it's not gonna satisfy you. You are not gonna meet your expectations with it. So what I'm trying to say is that customer experience. It's not the same with customer service. Number service starts where customer experience fails. So you really need to have a great customer experience in order to not be using the customer service. The other day I was speaking with one of the top executives in, in the region. And uh, he was asking me, Raluca, why do, I, why do we need customer experience? Our companies are really successful. We have a great call center. Uh, we have customer service. So. My very simple answer is, do you really think that having a call center, it means that you are providing a wow experience to your customers? So. Yeah, that's a good question actually, to, to start a conversation and have a winning output of it. Customer service is that voice that you hear over the phone whenever you call a company to, to troubleshoot something, to ask for advice or guidance while customer experience is the interaction of the customers over his whole journey in the company. So it's, it's the interaction with marketing, with sales, with finance, with the people in the company. You can't expect people to be ambassadors of your company unless they are proud of the company they are representing. And you can't expect people to be proud of the company unless the company cares about them. So to answer your question, it starts with the people in the company. So people at the heart of the company, right? Yes. I was telling you maybe before, what about the data part? Because you need to understand the people. How would you understand them? Maybe this is where the data is also important to understand uh, the people. And today we are living in a data world. Everyone speaks today about uh, customer experience that it can't be measured. Yes, customer experience can, can be measured. Um, and if you want to go in front of your top management and ask them to invest in customer experience, you need to keep in mind that yes, you have customer experience metrics. There are many of them. And measuring these metrics, I want to say is just half of the butter because the other half is how you interpret the implications um, behind these numbers. Very interesting uh, response, actually. Um, you know, now people can, you know, because I always hear you cannot measure it. You know, something it's not tangible. Exactly. So uh, exactly. <laughs> now exactly. you know, with all of those, it is, um, you know, something you can actually measure it and see it. You can enhance your business. So now we understand also that it has a benefit. It has a return on investment. So uh, in a summary or in a nutshell, uh, can you name the benefits of customer experience that it will bring to the organization? Look, I'll be very quick and I'll just mention three. It's revenue growth, it's profit growth, and of course for the companies that are IPOs, it's stock market increase. Very simple. Very simple. Here they are. <laughs> three. <laughs> so lastly, what would you say to those that are willing to drive a differentiation with customer experience in their company? I would say that building excellence in customer experience requires time, requires dedication, and requires a growth mindset. So it doesn't happen overnight. So it's a journey. It's, it's not a journey. one time exactly. thing or a project or just, you know, uh, let's do it and then we've done it and then it succeeded or it's a application or you know because some of the people think yeah well we create that application and that application is customer you know friendly uh, has a good customer experience 
but it's it's not that same you as you need to nourish it you need to take care of it and you need you need to have patience yes. to build it up yes. exactly that, that's what we actually preach preach here in uh, dx talk it's about when we talk about digital transformation you know it's part of them is customer experience we don't talk about technology being deployed or something it's more about that strategy it's more about the culture it's more about the people and of course it has technology side it has you know a lot of elements uh, going on to reach that trans that true that trans true transformation, transformation right exactly. because it's not a overnight thing it's not a gift you open it you get a transformation or a better customer experience it's that yeah. mindset towards the future where you really want to benefit and benefit your customers and have an excellent differentiation so those were the last three tips revenue growth profit growth and stock price that will guarantee you a successful company so with that i would really uh, thank our guest Luca. it's been an honor to have you here uh, and we are really happy uh, to have you on dx talk uh, you. if you have a last word to say to our audience and then based on that we will I really appreciate the opportunity that, that you gave me, Rudy, to be in front of your audience and explain a little bit about this very trendy topic, customer experience, that can make miracles in your company, for sure, if you take it seriously. Thank you again. <laughs> thank you. And uh, I'd like to thank all our audience for uh, participating in this, in this beautiful talk. And uh, don't forget to tune to our uh, channels from our podcast to uh, social media and so on at the Asks Talks. And see you in another one. See you.